Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? Just a quick one for you today about this, a Bose Soundlink Color 2 little Bluetooth speaker. Unfortunately, this one seems to be completely dead and I've got an idea as to why, but I've run across some information that suggests it may not be as dead as it seems. So what is this thing doing? Well, practically nothing. I plugged it in overnight, it just charges through a micro USB on the side, and when I did, I didn't get any indicator lights on the top. Now, every once in a while, I can actually get it to power on, oh, please charge now. but it always whines about the battery being low and you need to charge it and that sort of thing. And if I can get it to play audio, I usually only get like 30 seconds or so before it turns itself off, like it just did again there. So. You know, at f first glance, you would think, okay, well, the battery in this thing is just worn out and dead, right? Like, a full charge on this should last something like eight hours. And obviously, I'm only getting like 30 seconds. So maybe it's just a dead lithium ion battery, and that happens. And the bummer with these, like with a lot of other Bluetooth speakers, and there's just a ton of little, you know, portable Bluetooth speakers in this category, and they're pretty much all the same, and that you can't really replace the batteries yourself. They're all just built into the unit and the way they design these products means that it's practically impossible to take them apart, at least by the typical you know, end user, and replace it. There's special knowledge you need to have. So I was thinking, okay, well, maybe I go down the path of finding a replacement like 18650 lithium ion cell, make sure it's got the solder tabs, we could do a video about tearing this thing down and what does it take. But in doing some research, I actually found a much easier potential solution for getting this thing working again that could help out an awful lot of other people with this problem too. As it turns out, there's a firmware update available for the Soundlink Color 2 that fixes an issue that sounds an awful lot like the one that I'm experiencing, where basically if the battery in the unit discharges sufficiently deeply, it won't turn itself back on again. And the way to update the firmware is through a computer using that USB connection. So let's see what happens when I just plug the speaker into my laptop here. That's a good sign, it's actually waking up. And there's some companion software you can run on a PC or Mac, this Bose updater application. And the update appears to happen just through the web page. I guess that software just kind of helps the computer talk to the hardware of the speaker, but this version 401 is what apparently fixes the issue. So uh, let's go ahead and run the update and see what we get. And it looks like the update was a success and it appears that the speaker's actually charging through USB now. So we'll see how this thing handles long-term. It's entirely possible that the battery may still be on its way out, but the fact the unit even powers on, even when connected to USB now, is a huge improvement over what it was doing before. It just didn't want to power on even when connected to the USB charger. So that just goes to show, I guess, the power of firmware in modern electronics that even a simple bug can basically knock a unit out of commission completely. Now, the big question is, would the average person realize what's going on with this? Chances are, no, and that's a big problem. It makes me wonder just how many of these have been recycled or landfilled for what's ultimately just a software bug. The person that encountered this problem just thought, well, the battery must be dead and this thing would cost more than it's worth to get repaired. And because these are not easily repairable by the end user, they wouldn't be able to do it themselves to save money. So they just throw it out and buy a new one. And it turns out all they needed to do was that software update. Now, personally, I am a little bummed that this thing didn't have a hardware problem because I kind of wanted to do a teardown video about this. And maybe I'll run across another one of these that actually has a dead battery and we can look at what that repair is like. There is an iFixit guide for it. 
It doesn't actually look impossible to do, but it's definitely challenging for the typical person who's maybe only done like basic electronics repairs. So who knows, maybe that's in our future, but at least for now, if you have one of these Bose Soundlink Color 2s and it seems to just be completely dead, plug it into your computer, go to the Bose website and download the firmware update. There's a very good chance that you can fix this problem for free. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on social media at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always, thanks for watching.